All right, today we are going to review a very nice, special Porsche M491 car. This car is well documented since it was new. It has the COA, has all the services been done to it. I bought it back in the late 80s, sold it to a gentleman. He took care of it, documented everything he did in plastic wrappers, and then resold, I'll tell you the type of customer he was, he resold the car and gave all the money to the church. Good man. Uh, but sold it to another gentleman who pondered the purchase of it for a few months and just couldn't resist. And there it is. And he has done such a wonderful job improving, upgrading this car. All the proper stuff. He did a, a chip for the engine, the proper upgrade on the exhaust. He did clutches. He rebuilt the, in, uh, the transmission. Check the engine for studs. Studs were good, compression was good, leak down was good. Put fresh oil return tubes on it. The engine is just bone dry. Short shift in the transmission, clutch, I mentioned that. Is that car gorgeous? Again, I probably won't do a good job articulating just how nice this car is. But it is such an exciting piece to have. Just gets so, well, it's fun. You go through cars, you go through Porsches, 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 and then every once in a while you just get this really special piece. And that's what this car is. Again, so well documented. Huge book on its service records. These M491s are so, so interesting to drive. And when we took the driving video with this car, again, I couldn't really articulate just how tight it is and how responsive it is. A Porsche lover's dream. Paint is near perfect. Uh, I've taken a video up on the lift and pointed out the one tiny chip that I could find. Obviously, we can't find it again, but there is a chip that's been brush touched up. A tiny one. Well, I can't find it. Uh, redid the dash with a Porsche Classic dash. When he redid the radio, the stereo, look at this. To the right, Porsche face. Gear shift knobs fresh, dash is fresh. Original interior, original leather. Headliner's nice. The back rate, uh, speaker shelf is slightly warped here in the middle. Just slightly. Carpets are all nice. Refresh the sunroof seal. Porsche floor mats. Look at those entry positions, how fresh they are. The door panels are fresh. Crisp would be a better term. And here I'll fire it up for you. It's really nice tone. So I'm not even going to open the door. I'll start it from standing outside. Let me get the. Uh, no, I want you to see the exhaust. Here we go. No smoke, no puff of smoke. Again, nice door panels, speaker grill covers done correct, not broken. I saw on the records where they were replaced, he did the right ones. Carpet's all nice. Put rear struts in the engine compartment. Oh, look how clean and detailed that engine is, my gosh. Has a new heat pad in the in the engine compartment. Motor mounts. Wow, what a nice piece. The next owner to this car is a lucky man. You go look at a hundred Porsches and then come back to me and you'll buy this car. Total 
um, tool roll in, is complete. All this carpeting is not stained, not cut up, not damaged by um, acid from the battery. Stabilizer bar, of course. Hmm. Disposable car cover. All right, M491 is on here. Here it is, right here. How clean the underside of the hood is. I better stop, I'll just keep talking. My apologies for a lengthy video, but this is an, an exciting piece. All right, I wanted to go over some of this uh, service history before we took a look at the underside of the car because you'll, you'll note when I go through the video that um, what the service tickets are here are present on the car and fresh. First of all, there's the COA. We have a written history um, from the last owner um, stating what a privilege it was to own the car and what he did to it. Um, this book was started by Mr. Zuli when I sold it in 2019, I believe. No, 1990 is when I sold it to Mr. Zuli. He kept it for several years, all the service records back here, and then we went to the last owner who's uh, done the most impressive of the upgrades. He got it with 54,000 miles. Um, he has done a clutch. Uh, flywheels, um, a Weevil short shifter, uh, he did an upgraded air conditioning system, um, new tires were put on in 2018 with 55,000 miles, did Swepco in the transmission 900 miles ago or in 2018, he also, let's see, Put an M&K muffler and mid-pipe, uh, alarm, CV boots, Momo steering wheel, upgraded audio system. The audio system is real interesting. It has Porsche facing. Everything was done correct. Uh, I'm not going to articulate uh, how excited I am about this car and its history. I'm not going to articulate it to the proper level. It's just a very exciting car to come to have come around again. He put a new dash in it from uh, Porsche. Um, did of course did all the major services. Head studs were checked and were good. Uh, this was in um, at 59,000 miles, and they did major services. Did some oil return tubes. Uh, uh, let's see, they have a D, let's see, did a DME relay and put the OEM in the trunk as a spare. Uh, the Griffiths AC system, rear engine mounts, engine lid struts. Winter projects here. Crankshaft sensors, new flywheel, breather gaskets, fuel lines, plug wires, new fuel pump. New fuel lines, throttle rod bushing, that's why it feels so good when you drive it. New engine pad, um, ignition switch. I uh, did a DME to Steve Wall, let's see, did a DME, I mentioned that. Cruise control module was repaired. At this time, the gearbox was redone and uh, the car currently has about 865 miles on it. 2002, uh, the, they measured the rear brakes. They're at, um, they're both good. So here we have the rebuilt transmission sheet. Again, not doing a real good art job articulating, but you're following me. Um, just the tremendous documentation done on this car, and everything was done correct, just as the way you want it. My gosh, when you drive it, you can really tell that the guy was a conscientious owner and did it right. Put the right stuff in the right places. This goes on and 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 on. The uh, car was a, a Texas car, and I think I bought it out of Texas back in the late 80s or early 90s as an audio upgrade. And uh, again, sold it in 1990. 
So here we go, let's walk underneath it. Um, obviously no rust, again, it was a good southern car before I picked it up. It hasn't been driven in any inclement weather. Pans are good, they're not damaged, they haven't been scraped or scuffed. These oil lines look like they've been replaced, which they have. Engine mounts were redone. Looks like all this is new. New transmission, rebuilt transmission. Boots. Upgraded exhaust. This is all this new air conditioning upgraded AC unit. Fresh service. Look at that bone dry. Oil return tubes. What a fantastic example. I'm going to be real redundant stating that. It's just such a unique car. I see so many Porsches and have through the years. It's just so unusual to find one so special like this one that's been well cared for, well documented, and well preserved. Okay, here we are at eye level on the M491. Again, we put it at eye level so we can see all the flaws or lack of flaws at the lower extremities of the car. You can see how clean, crisp, sharp all the components are. Eyebrows not warped, not, no rust underneath there, not wavy, no, no rock chips. There's a tiny one right there. There you can sort of see it. Nice clean nose. Just a little bit of chipping right here. This car is so exceptional that I, if I point out a flaw, it's an anomaly on this car because there, there are no flaws, there are very few. How straight the doors are. Look at that paint. Look at the reflection, how straight that door is. Original quarter panels, original front fenders, original M491 car, of course. Car has had some panels repainted. We did a, a, a paint meter. Uh, some of the cars are original, some of it's been repainted. I would suggest anything that had been repainted was simply cosmetics because the car has not been in trouble. Got crisp even the quarter. I didn't do anything with this car. I didn't detail it. Nothing. We picked it up with a covered trailer from the last owner and brought it here and here you are. Again, original fenders. I only state that about detailing because look how well this car has been taken care of. We haven't eat, we didn't even have to wash it. This is the way we got it out of his garage. Very conscientious ownership. The last two men that have owned it. Both were conscientious owners and they recorded their, their work. And they did some spectacular work. We'll go through the workbook in a minute. Just look how crisp everything is. No dings, no scuffs, no scratches. No wax left in the accordions or in the seals. Wheels are all in good condition. Michelins, and they are dated. I can't tell, I'll get back to you. 2017 it looks like. So the tires are Michelin tires dated 2017. Deep and tread. Bumper guards are clean, all the reflectors are clean, there's no moisture, they're not faded. Crisp, crisp everywhere. 
All right, we'll go on up in the air with it and I'll show you the undercarriage, which is extremely impressive. How sharp and sh straight that door is.